One of the most common uh, plant diseases that we see every spring is a disease that we see on our ornamental pears. And these are very common trees that we see in a lot of people's uh, home lawns. But it is very susceptible to a disease called bacterial fire blight. And what we see basically are the symptoms that occur on the tree. The, the uh, leaves will oftentimes fire up. looks very much like someone put a blowtorch on the end of the branches. The symptoms are going to occur rather randomly on the tree. And they will die like you see here. They will brown. Oftentimes one of the characteristic symptoms of fire blight will be a crooking of the twig, as you can see here. It's sh shaped somewhat like a, a uh, handle on a walking stick. But the bacteria usually enter through the flower and start to kill tissue back, causing the, the branches to die back in such a manner here. This is a, can be a very devastating disease on our ornamental pears. Supposedly, uh, different varieties respond differently to the bacteria. Uh, however, all of them are susceptible to some extent. Supposedly, the Bradford variety tends to be less susceptible to the bacteria. But given the right environmental conditions, the disease can be very destructive. And usually, infection on the tree takes place during that blooming window of time usually uh, during March, uh, late February. And this is usually when the bacteria is brought to the tree, many times by a pollinating insect. And during the process of pollination, the bacteria is introduced into the flower. At that point in time, it starts to grow down into the wood. And if it's not put in check, the bacteria will continue to grow down into the tree where you have large sections of the tree that begin to die out. To um, actually confirm diagnosis, the homeowner will really need to bring in a sample to their local county extension office. And to do that, they would need to select a branch such like this. They should prune that branch in such a manner as to have both green tissue and dying tissue on that, that sample. Now that sample should be collected, placed in a plastic bag, Uh, if it's going to be a few days before you get into your local extension office, you may want to consider putting in a few sheets of dry paper tally to keep that sample nice and dry, keep it from deteriorating while it's in the refrigerator. Now, a lot of people ask, well, what am I going to be able to do about this particular disease? And ideally for the homeowner, uh, just selective pruning uh, is the most appropriate way to control this particular disease in that you need to locate the dying tissue uh, and go down into the green wood and actually prune that tissue out of the tree. And that's going to be very difficult, especially, you know, if you've got a 20 or 30 foot tree, as many of them are around, around the city. Ideally, you know, if you have a problem with fire blight on many of your ornamental pears, you may want to consider replacing these trees with something that's not susceptible. To learn more, contact your county extension agent and follow the links in this section.